how to do screen retouching in about 10 minutes. So simply spare 10 minutes of your time to understand how to do screen retouching and retain original skin details and natural skin textures for your images when it comes to Photoshop using frequency separation. So for this kind of image, we are going to do frequency separation by first of all coming to the background image and creating two layers or two copies from the background image. Then rename the middle layer, double click to rename, name that to color and double click on the topmost layer and we can name that to texture. And after renaming these layers, you just going to come to the color layer, select it and turn off the texture layer by clicking on the eye icon. Then simply come to filter, come to blur, come to Gaussian blur, take the reduce slider down, click on the skin area that has more skin details, click on the reduce slider and move it up and stop at that point whereby you are just starting to close out on the skin textures in the image. So at about five, that is when we're just starting to close out on the skin details. So depending on the photo that you're trying to edit, you have to stop at that point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the skin details in the image. Just come and click OK. Come to the texture layer and simply turn it on. Then come to image, come to apply image and it will open up the apply image window. So under layer select color, channel select RGB, under blending select add. Make sure you come to invert, make sure it is checked. The scale is 2, type in 2, offset 0. And you'll have the textures on this square layer. So in case you have 8 here, it means your photo is going to be 8 bit. So these are settings for a 16 bit image. So for those using 8 bit photos, after selecting the color layer, channel RGB, make sure invert is not turned on. Blending is set to subtract. The scale is to offset 128 or past 100%. And you'll basically have the same result. So for our case, our image is a 16 bit image. So we are going to revert this to 16 bit settings. Invert on scale is to offset zero. Click OK. Change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light. Select both layers by pressing command. Then drag them and put them into a group. So you can rename the group to frequency separation. After doing this, just come and click on the drop down arrow to open up the frequency separation group. Then select the color layer. And after selecting the color layer, simply come to the textures and turn them off. The reason for turning off the textures is because for this step we want to work on the colors and refine the colors and later on we are going to be refining the textures in the image. So we have selected the color layer then we are going to come to the brushes right here and simply select the Mr. Brush tool. So for whichever tool you select in Photoshop the settings are always going to display above here. So for this make sure the hard hardness of the brush is set to 0%. Soft round brush is selected. Clean brush is selected and the second option that is clean brush after each stroke is selected. The weight is 9%, load 75%, mix is 90%, flow is 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not turned on or is not checked. So make sure this right here is not checked. So the next step is going to be brushing and blending the skin color on the image. So how do you brush? We make sure that the size of the brush tool is small enough to blend a given color. So we are mixing the dark colors alone, the medium colors alone, and the bright colors alone regarding the skin tone. So how do we brush? We can increase or reduce on the size of the brush by using the open and square bracket keys on the keyboard. So how to brush? Simply click and hold down and you blend a given color just like that. And once you're done blending that given color, you're just going to come on a new color and click once again. And you drag the brush in a given direction. So you have to follow the direction of the area that you're wa working on in the image. So just do that. Blend like that. And you can see the area we have worked on is very nice and smooth. So when it comes to this bright area, click and blend that bright area on the skin. And where this bright area is transitioning from one color to another, reduce on the size of the brush by using the the bracket keys on the keyboard and you blend that surrounding area just like that. So you can create smooth transitions by just doing this. And by the way, as you're doing this, make sure you don't zoom all the way in. So we have to blend each and every area that has an even skin color transition. So for the nose, we are just going to follow the direction of the nose up and down like that and blend the dark area alone and blend the bright area on the nose just like that. So this is what we have to do for the rest of the skin color or the skin tone. So 
you're just going to come to the check area and blend this highlight there like that and follow the direction of that highlight so basically this is what we have to do for the rest of the skin color or the skin tone of the subject so i'm just going to blend this quickly because i don't want to go past 10 minutes of this very insightful tutorial so i'll blend like that so blend like this this dark area in the image blend this bright area on the chain so you can see i'm using a very sizable or reasonable size of a brush so that i don't spill colors from one area to another so i'm just going to blend like that and you can see it is very nice and easy and you can see how smooth the skin has gotten to be or to look in this case so take your time as you're doing this and the more you practice the better you're going to be at the end of the retouching process so take your time as you are trying to train your eyes to work on the image so i'm just going to do this for the rest of the skin color so that i don't take a longer time trying to explain so make sure you blend each and every area that has or contains skin tones or skin color all over your photo or all over your image so i'm just going to blend like that you can see i'm moving the brush in the direction of how the skin is flowing on the subject's body so and by the way you can as well work with the texture layer turned on in case you really trust your eyes but the reason that's why we turned it off is because we want to see the uneven skin color transition since we are working or dealing with skin tones in this very image so just come and turn it on and you can see the textures are still left intact within this very image so after blending the skin color you can see before after before after once you're done blending the skin color the next step is going to be fine-tuning the image even more so you can come and turn on the texture layer get the lasso tool make sure new selection mode is activated feathering is 20 pixels and simply make a selection over the skin so click and you drag to make a selection and that selection should follow the shape of a given area then come to filter come to black come to gaussian blur then it is going to bring back the initial radius that we use for african separation move up the radius slider and stop at that point where you are having a better looking skin texture of your image so at about 16 that is when we are having a better skin texture for this kind of image or you can as well multiply the radius that we had for african separation by three so we had five so five by three is 15 so just delete five and type in 15 and click ok to deselect this selection click out from the selection and you come back and you make a new selection on a brand new area come back to filter black come to gaussian blur click ok just like that so this is what you are what you have to do for the rest of the areas that have skin so this technique is only done or it is only favorable for the face so when it comes to the nose only apply it on the dark areas of the nose of the subject so you can see what we have right now so after working or dealing with colors on the skin the next step is going to be dealing with the textures so textures involve pimples acne and any unwanted kind of details regarding the skin so i'm just going to do that, that so in case the effect is too much in a given area right click on the selection and come to fade gaussian blind you can reduce on the opacity of the effect in a given area so i'll leave it at that so to remove details or pimples from the model skin select the texture layer come and get the chrome stamp tool and make sure for a settings hardness set to zero soft one brush is selected the mode is normal or pass at 100 percent flow at 100 percent make sure a line is checked and the sample is set to current layer because we want to remove pimples that are part of the currently selected layer so we have to zoom in because we're removing pimples that may be really tiny to be seen at a distance so zoom in by using ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use command plus on the keyboard so to remove a pimple make sure that the size of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the pimple that you want to remove in a given area then hold on the option key on the keyboard alternate for windows option for mac option and click on a clean area near the pimple release the option key on the keyboard and simply click once again over the pimple to eliminate it or cover it with clean skin so this is what we have to do for each single individual pimple in the model skin so you have to do this and take your time as you're trying to clear away or remove all these pimples and don't forget to zoom all the way in so in case you're finding value from this kind of video simply make sure that you 
hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there interested in learning how to do skin retouching using frequency separation. So let's smoothen the image. So for this we are trying to create a perfect image by removing unwanted textures regarding pimples. So first we, deal, we dealt with colors. Right now we are dealing with the textures and removing any kind of unwanted skin details and in this way we are trying to create a perfectly edited or smoothened image using frequency separation as a skin retouching technique so take your time as you're trying to clear out or remove all these unwanted blemishes so command minus to look at the image at a distance or you can use cross zero command zero to zoom out so i'm just going to remove all these unwanted pimples and blemishes from the model skin so this is what we have right now so take your time as you're trying to remove all these unwanted pimples and blemishes so let's see what we have been able to do regarding frequency separation this is the image before after before after before and after so this is how you can edit skin using frequency separation as a beginner from the start to the very end in about 10 minutes so hope you have learned a thing or two from this video Ronix from Ronix photography Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.